Certainly, there are a lot of challenges that cities have to be concerned about when you build to a very, very high density situation. I, I think perhaps I would just highlight two of the key areas that we need to think about. Uh, firstly, you need to really think about the physical environment in terms of um, uh, the transportation system, the air quality, and the kind of uh, potential stress it will have on people living in that kind of environment. And, and this is something that has got to do with uh, human response, it has got to do with ab ability to adapt, ability to actually you know, uh, uh, tolerate certain type of um, annoyance or um, certain kind of um, conditions in a high density environment. But there are also uh, other types of, um, of challenges actually relating to um, psychological well-being of people that uh, people will feel that, um, uh, that sense of crowdedness, uh, that sense of invasion of privacy, for example. But these are really perceptions and it can vary depending on the kind of conditions, the, the specific local conditions that people live in. But I think it's important not to just think about challenge, just think about challenges. You should also really be thinking of some of the opportunities with high density environment. Essentially, if you think of something like uh, proximity, accessibility, high density environment can open up a whole lot of opportunities for people, for example, to live closer to work, closer to amenities, for example as well as, I think, uh, allow interaction across uh, different types of um, uh, talents uh, where you can actually uh, create environments to, 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 to enhance innovation. And this has actually been studied in a lot of cities that says that in dense environment where you have a, a, a agglomeration of talents, you can actually, it can be a very, very good um, uh, opportunity to actually open up opportunities for innovation. So I think think also of the chat of the opportunities rather than just the challenges. Certainly resource is a challenge. In the dense environment you really be thinking about very tight urban situations and limited land. So I think some of the strategies really has to deal with how we optimize our resources and some of the strategies could be responding to those kind of optimization uh, concerns. So I'm thinking that perhaps you, you can really think of things like multifunctionality, how you can allow certain amenities to double up, whether it's in terms of work lift places, whether in terms of, for example, uh, urban parks that could be used uh, for different types of events and uh, for integrating with community, with schools. So you get a higher level of integration and a higher level of um, allowing different diversity of users to exist within smaller spaces. But I think the other type of strategies you should be really looking at is also uh, strategies to actually regenerate spaces. Uh, very often uh, we have uh, cities who waste their space and in a, in a situation where it's high density you really want to start thinking about how to actually allow uh, where, where spaces are old and obsolete you want to bring them back as in terms of a new leash of economic life so you can be old warehouses, old industrial buildings and you want to talk about creating new users in those buildings and then try to optimize them rather than leaving them uh, without uh, uh, economic purpose. Well, I think that's a very, very big challenge. Um, but Singapore has done well in the past. We have a very good record uh, in terms of good urban planning, integrated urban planning. That that will enable us to, to face some of these challenges. And besides, high density is not something new to us. So I think we, uh, Singapore has, can actually uh, leverage on the kind of experience that we have had in the past. 
Well, I think what is really more important, if, I'm, if I might switch the subject a little bit, is really not so much the physical aspects, but I think what is really challenging in the context of a future higher population is that the population will be more diverse. There will be uh, different age groups with different expectations. There will be people coming who come from different types of backgrounds uh, living in, in, in the city. And of course there will be people with new expectations and new aspirations. And I think that is the real challenge uh, for Singapore. And, and to overcome that, I think really it, we really need to have a, more, a lot more adaptation in terms of our governance system to allow greater stakeholders uh, in, uh, involvement into planning, to open up the system to allow uh, that diversity of, um, of voices, of opinions and of, uh, of um, uh, ideas to come in into the planning process. And I think that will really take us forward.